Ciao from Milano. We just arrived. Well, yesterday we arrived. Today is our full day here in Milano. And I'm so incredibly happy to be back in this beautiful city. The last time I was here was in 2013 and I actually posted a photo of Duomo. I went to see Duomo di Milano yesterday and I posted a photo of like from 2013 to 2020 and the only thing that's changed from there is my camera lens, well my phone lens, it's been updated but everything else is so similar, it's the same stores, the same crowd, the same pigeons, um, it's all, everything is the same. But we are having a day today. We just booked our trip to Lake Como, which we're going to tomorrow. So that will be in this video as well. And we are going to call a cab and we're going to head to a street called, I think it's called Via di Napoleon. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but my Italian is, it's nothing. My Italian is not there at all. I did Italian in high school and I can probably count to five and I don't know like greeting words that's about it um, so it's terrible but luckily most people speak English here so it hasn't been too hard however we are staying at the beautiful Western Palace here in Milano we're gonna waiting for a cab we're gonna head over to one of the designer shopping districts I believe it's called the Golden Triangle so I thought that only existed in Paris but I did some research and apparently it exists in Milano as well so that's what we're doing today we're gonna to see what we are going to just kind of explore the store see what we um, want I'm with my brother we're gonna be shopping together and I think he wants to buy a bag I'm not sure but I also want to check out Lueve because they have a tank top that I'm interested in that I might purchase obviously you get tax free here in Milano so I'm doing that and I'm gonna show you my outfit I'm wearing my new wearing this new baby that I picked up from Fendi, my unicorn, my sunset unicorn. And I'll show you my outfit and then we're heading out. Here's my outfit, I'm wearing this gorgeous dress that I just picked up from Zara yesterday. My Fendi sunset bag and these sunglasses that I got in Positano from someone that was selling it while I was sitting at the beach. And I love it, it's a great little fun pair of shades that I'm obsessed with, so prepare to be sick of them during this trip. I ordered an iced cappuccino. It's very um, difficult to usually have order, order like an iced coffee or an iced latte, but it is after 11 a.m. So I know that that's not allowed, but I just really need the feel. It's about 2:40 in the afternoon now. But we've already done some damage. Got lucky at Loewe. Found something that's completely sold out in New York and kind of world worldwide as well. So. They just randomly had a restock and I got lucky. So it seems like I'm being getting pretty lucky on this trip with my Fendi bag and also now something from the Wave, which is great. But I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy our ice cappuccino. Sorry. We just got to a department store, department 
department store called La Renaissance, which I never knew existed, but we had to search it. We're here at Dior because my brother wants to buy a Dior bag, so we'll see how that goes. We're just waiting, but this department store is huge, it's enormous. Earlier we're at Bodega Veneta because my boyfriend wanted a bag as well, so he's putting in his request from New York, and I, um, I we bought a bag there, so now we're at Dior and see how we go. Hopefully we get lucky here as well. back in from shopping and safe to say we shopped till we dropped because I am exhausted so tired I might even make myself an espresso we have an espresso machine in the hotel in our room but I'm exhausted from shopping all day what an incredible day of shopping honestly like the last place we went into before we got got into the taxi was Prada and I tried on the bucket hat and I'm so torn. I don't know. I might go back on Friday to get it, but what a collection in every single designer store that I went into. They have an incredible collection. They've got all the collections that are available. Everything is European price. They do your tax return right there. So we're going to do our tax return when we get to the airport. So it's all duty free. So you're just saving so much. Like there's some pieces that I wanted in the USA and it's like, it's like a huge markup, like $500 markup. So insane. Anyway, might film a luxury shopping haul. Who knows? You might see me wearing some of these pieces in the next couple of days in Milano. But that is what we did today. Tomorrow is Lake Como, which is going to be a lot of fun. And yeah, and then tonight we might just get some dinner and then wrap it up because we have a long day tomorrow. Okay, ciao! Okay, I'm actually just getting ready for dinner and I'm wearing the new top I bought from Loewe. This is the one that I ended up choosing. It is the full length tank top with the black emblem, the Loewe emblem. I love the fit. The quality is very, very, very beautiful. It's very thick and I don't know, it's just going to be like very easy to style with like skirts and shorts and... I just also love that it's like not in your face, like it's not like the Gucci print or anything. It's like if you know it, you know it. If you don't, then you don't. I love that. The black one that I tried on with, it was black and more crop that also comes in white. That one was, I just felt like it was very sporty for me. Whereas like if I wore it with a skirt or something, I just wouldn't get much wear out of it because I would want to wear it with my leggings and have like more of a sporty look. So I don't know. I just feel like this one's nice. And then also they had the white emblem one, which was, that was very cute as well. And I liked that one, but um, I ended up choosing this one. It was a hard choice between the two, to be quite honest. I had other colors as well. Like I know they have the other colors, the bright colors in stock on Farfetch. They had the green and they had the orange in stock, but obviously like I wanted the plain color and the seller associate was telling me that it's like completely sold out worldwide. And I was like, I am completely aware <laughs> of it. That's why I had to like, you know, try my luck and I got pretty lucky. So that's good. I'm just doing some makeup, but I'm not really doing makeup. I haven't been wearing makeup at all on this trip. The only thing, I packed all my makeup and I haven't been wearing anything other than like obviously sunscreen. I've been wearing my, when I go out to dinner, just to like make my complexion even, I'm wearing this, which is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I have it in the shade three, but it gives me like, it just picks up on the glow and like kind of brings everything together. My face is kind of tan right now. So if I wear foundation or concealer, it's going to be a disaster. Like I wore concealer the other day. I had to rub it off because it was like completely white under my eyes. And then I'll just comb my eyebrows. 
And my hair's clipped up and I'm done. And I'm taking this little baby with me tonight, which is my Bodega Veneta in the gorgeous green. Let me show you my outfit and we're out to dinner. We're gonna have dinner downstairs by, in the bar downstairs, which is really cute. I also wanna show you a room tour of this hotel. I totally recommend. Okay. Okay, here is tonight's outfit. Super casual, no Lueve tank top. These jeans are Zara. I'm wearing these MS sandals, pop of color, and another pop of color, which I absolutely love this bag. And yeah, shopping in Milan was absolutely insane today. They had so much in stock. And the Bodega store that I went into was absolutely huge. They had so much stock, like seriously, Milan shopping has nothing like New York shopping has nothing on Milan, <laughs> in Milano shopping, it's insane. But I mean, it's all their brands, obviously, like most of them are Italian or French. So, I mean, the department stores are really good in New York, I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty great. But this is the outfit. Okay, let's head to dinner downstairs. Okay, super quick shoe change. I change into these heels and the green matches my Digger, which I love, so I think that goes better with this look. Good morning, a new day here in Milano, and today's the day we are going to Lake Como. So we're up early, with I feel like I'm very exhausted from yesterday shopping. Just enjoying my warm cappuccino. I really need that. I am such a coffee girl, <laughs> like, I just can't deny that. But. Yeah. Having breakfast and we're gonna head to make comments today, so let's go. Here's my fresh little breakfast. I've got a fresh bowl or a cup of fruits and here is my granola and Greek yogurt and this is a turkey um, little croissant sandwich which actually is really delicious. The croissants are incredible. I've got some fresh OJ and I'm just waiting for my Cappuccino. Ciao. We made it to Como, which is the main city. Well, the Lake Como, but Como is the main city. It's um, very historic and it, there's a lot of history of the Roman Empire and a lot of historic buildings. Some of the buildings are standing. One of the oldest churches is here. We just sat down to have some coffee. Numero, numero dos uh, cappuccino, which I'm in need of. And it's only one hour from Milano, so it's absolutely so close. I definitely recommend coming out here, but after this, we are going to head into, I believe, Lake Como, and then we're going to go to Bellagio after that, so let's see. We're going to do a boat tour. A boat tour from, is it Lake Como through to Bellagio? Bellagio, yeah. And there's also Bellano, which is another little area, but absolutely beautiful. The mountains are incredible, but hopefully I can get some scenic views to show. But yeah. in Bellagio. This is the incredible view. It's just so stunning. Well, we've come to, well, we've, we were in Lake Como. We took a beautiful boat, seeing all the beautiful features of Lake Como and the beautiful lake. 
And now we're actually in Bellagio, which is insane because a couple of years ago, probably like five or six years ago, we stayed at the Bellagio Hotel in Vegas and that was just like incredible, very Italian. And now we're actually in the town, which is just unbelievable, it's just so majestic. Now we're walking up these stairs. But we sat and had a lovely lunch, which is really nice. Obviously, I had ravioli and some espresso. But I'm just going to explore this town a little bit until we get back on the ferry and we head back to Lake Como. but I got so lucky at Van Cleef. I found a dream item, a unicorn, another unicorn. I can't believe I found it. I'm so excited. Ciao from Milano, our last day in Milano, and I look extremely tired. We shopped until we dropped today. It was our last day, so we had to obviously leave with a mark, I guess. So we just got back to the hotel room and made myself a cup of tea. Um, we're just kind of like relaxing and going through what we purchased, but... Honestly, I was very successful here in Milano. I want to show you a couple of things that we um, bought, but I'm going to film a luxury unboxing just because I bought a lot of luxury items. One of them being a absolute unicorn, Van Cleef and a Prowse. I cannot believe how lucky we got. We tried our luck when we were in Miami one year and they have absolutely zero stock. So... I bought myself a piece of jewelry. My mother also bought a piece of jewelry and yeah, we both got super lucky, which is insane because in the USA, it's completely sold out. And I mean, the perk of purchasing in Milan is you get your taxes back. So we are very, very happy with that. So picked up that. What else did we get? Mum got some shoes from an Italian designer, as you do. Um... What did I get? I think that's it. Got some Italian chocolate. Here it is. And I wanted to show you the pasta I picked up because it's very Dolce & Gabbana family collection. I'm going to show you quickly. Here, you can see the pasta. It is so sweet. I actually don't ever want to use it and cook. But um, it's just like so cute with the family and the print I think is super sweet. And it's very Italian. Um, Dolce & Gabbana family collection inspired. So here it comes with the traveling pouch and then here it is. It comes in its beautiful box, Van Cleef and Apparels. And here it is. This is the yellow gold onyx. Um, with the five motifs and it's just absolutely beautiful so that's the pouch it comes in and it's just so stunning and then obviously if you're traveling you'll use this little pouch here so here we go really nice And this is what I wore, this new shirt that I got from Mango, super casual today, had some sneakers on, cute bag, that was the vibe. But I'm about to put everything away, pack up my luggage, and we are heading to New York City. We're heading home to New York, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be filming a designer luxury unboxing and we can talk about all my products that i've purchased all the goods that i purchased on this amazing trip but that's a wrap one month traveling in europe our summer in europe our summer in greece istanbul turkey turkey greece it's <laughs> 
Italia, all of them, that's over. The summer in Europe has come to an end. It is summer back in New York, so summer 2.0 is going to begin in New York and we're heading home to Manhattan. See you there and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments below. I'll link my hotel, everything I'm wearing down below. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.